Hello everyone. Last night was the premiere of the 31st season of The Challenge and I'm talking in a British accent because the British have invaded Aww. the MTV Challenge Vendettas. That's true. That's what do you true. think of that? We've got these people from X on the Beach. We've got these people from the Geordie Shore. What do you think? I think it's good. I think it will be Fresh different. Fresh faces. Yep. Fresh faces. We're back. The Dirty 30 just ended, and we're starting Vendettas, so let's just go right into it. So the episode starts, everybody arrives, they see TJ, and TJ reveals the theme that is going to be Vendettas, and Corey asks what a Vendetta is, because honestly these people probably have an IQ lower than a God knows what. I would ask that question too. She probably would. <laughs> so then we kind of see all of the Vendettas that... Um, are entailed throughout the cast. We've got Carmarie and Kayla. We've got Leroy and Veronica. Of course, we have Devin and Bananas. A lot of them, they haven't really had this vendetta for a while. Like the Leroy and Veronica thing was just last season. Kayla and Carmaria was just last season. And that's the thing. The definition of a vendetta is a long, like a yeah, vendetta is supposed to be something that's be... long time. Like, yeah. For they, seasons and seasons, people that have hated each other and have had this thing towards each other. There are several vendettas that could have been used, i.e. the biggest vendetta in challenge history, Johnny Bananas and Sarah. Yeah. She probably would decline it, though, so... I heard that she did decline this yeah. season. So, bam! Right off the bat, we're introduced to the characters, we're introduced to their vendettas, and we go right into the first challenge. And it is the first overnight challenge in the history of the challenge. Yeah, usually they only have those for the um, finale, right? right? And we're told the first person to finish wins $25,000, and the last two, whether it's a male, a female, two males, two females, they will go home. A lot of people surprised me, the ones that were in the front, like Marie and Natalie from Big Brother. Yeah. I didn't expect to them. How do you think Natalie is going to do this season? I think she's going to do very well. She did well on Big Brother. I, did the, I know these are different competitions, but... I think she's going to prove herself. The thing about Big Brother is that you could be the strongest person ever and not do good at challenges. These challenges will actually test your strength, your endurance, yeah. your mental abilities. Big Brother challenges couldn't do that. I think Victor will fare better than mm -hmm. Natalie. For we'll sure. See. Well, Natalie just got really far in I the know. first challenge. So. so after they're running, they are told that they have to stay standing up for six hours holding a big battery. And while they're doing that, Bananas... Already, well, this is the first challenge that he's come on without a girlfriend, which we didn't even know. That yeah, I didn't he had even know he was in a relationship. Never mentioned any of it because he's had so many exes on the exes seasons. He's had Nani, he's had Camilla. But, anyways, this is the first challenge that he comes on without a girlfriend, and he's already flirting with Natalie Negrotti. Not surprised. Carmaria called it Benatalie. I'm just, as a big Natalie fan, I don't support that. I know. I hope she learns right off the bat. But now that they Stay show previews and they were really getting close. So we really get introduced to all these Brits. This is really interesting. Kaylee, you know that girl Kaylee? She, the, the British one? The brown haired one, yeah. She was on Big Brother UK okay. last year. That's how you know her. And she was actually kicked out because of aggressive behavior very wow. quick into the season. So, she's a feisty one. And I don't get that impression from her. Yeah. Wow. One thing we really need to address. We're talking to everybody. We're getting to know all the newbies. Uh, Big Brother, X on the Beach. We have some already the one newbies like Cam and Alicia. But we're not seeing any of Eddie. Nothing. He crosses the finish line at the end. Everybody gets their name and their place at the bottom. Eddie does not get any of that that's true i noticed that he wasn't being shown like when they were conversing and getting to know each other but i didn't realize he wasn't shown when they were crossing the finish line either so they're finishing the first challenge and poor poor little nicole ramos just didn't really stand a chance i think she's proved herself though especially the last challenge With the redemption house. she she would have had that challenge if anisa didn't get that stupid mm -hmm. egg mm -hmm. so i, I feel, feel bad that. Wow. I she's <laughs> I think she's really funny and I find her very uh, like a comic relief and I wish she could have stayed longer. We also had to say goodbye to Rogan who we just met for about 10 minutes. 
We're saying hello, then we're saying goodbye because he had some slip disc on his back. Well, the challenge probably isn't the place for you if you got a slip disc on your I back. was going to say he shouldn't have come to begin with. I didn't really care about seeing him because I don't know anything about him. No. Nope. So they're done with the challenge. Joss wins the $25,000, and they all go into the house. You know, the big challenge staple is going to the mansion for the first time. Everybody's going to get their beds. And they immediately show us show us Brad, who has just come back after about a 10-season break, who is hooking up with Brittany from Are You the One? What do you think of that? I haven't seen him. This is my first time seeing him. So I don't really know about his past relationship. But I know Brittany because I'm a big Are You the One fan, and I thought she was with Chuck. It's a little odd. He's very old. Um, she was probably like in high school when he did his first challenge. Oh, probably. And Tori tweeted last night. She said, I chose not to watch this episode. And I don't blame her because... I wouldn't, and she's got two young kids, and I don't think it would have been the best idea for them to sit around and watch Daddy get with little Brittany. Yeah, that's sad. Marie's back, thank God, because she took a break for a while. She scared us after about five years, but she's back, and she has a vendetta with Car Maria. Big dark, kind of like Car Soul. From the Dirty 30, and she's trying to pull people like Natalie aside and saying, like, listen. Um, you don't want to get close to Kara. She's a dirty player. She's this. She's that. But Natalie's like, oh, I don't know. Like, I, she seems fine to me. I just met her. I don't agree with that. I think you should let people figure out for themselves. Mm -hmm. I yeah. wouldn't go up to someone and say, stay away from them. Mm -hmm. I'm Team Marie, but yeah, first night uh, she did say on Twitter that she was really intoxicated and she mixed some things. Oh, you she could tell. Have... You could tell. That's pretty much it for the premiere. It ends with Johnny Brands giving his annual toast, and from last night's episode alone. Seems like it's going to be pretty jam-packed. I'm excited for these new faces. I'm excited to see what they're going to bring. And we can only wait and watch. I think this is going to be a really good season. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I wasn't that thrilled with 3030, I'm not going to lie. No. I think that that was mostly because it was literally the Invasion cast recycled into the next season. But with this, we have 10 new people from completely different shows. And I think it's going to be good. So we will try to be back here next week with some more challenge talk. So be on the lookout for that. Until next time, see you later. Bye-bye.